Hi and welcome back to SQL tutorial of employee system. Okay, earlier on I told you guys it's actually at the request of one of my viewers out there. And these is uh, or these are the lines of code, the command that was using creating the table. Let me show you guys the table again. That is the table. As you can see, there's nothing in the table. Okay. So what we now going to do is I'm going to now create another query to insert data straight into this very table. So let's close this table anyway. And this we, we can always close this because it's already saved. Yes, that's it right here. It is saved. If you want to view it again, you just click, right click and click on view. So that is it. Close. There. So what I'm going to do to insert data into it, we're going to use the command known as insert. So let's click on create. And now let's select query design. Inside the query design, let's get rid of this. We don't need that. We can now click on this SQL here or we can click on SQL view that we have up there. So I'm going to start by using the following command insert into my table that is known as employee and what am I inserting into the employee the following values so let's open up a bracket so the first thing is I'm going to enter the employee number or reference number there we go and I'm going to enter a comma now this guy's name Let's say the name is Tony, comma, Montana. There we go. An address of Tony Montana is going to be number 17, Little Venice. There. What else do we have of Montana? Now we also need the postcode let's say the postcode is um, let's make that up uh, this should have been here yeah. so that is the postcode and we just enter maybe for WQ and there we go close that up as well comma then we need it, the gender so we're going to make up the gender let's tony let's say tony is male comma and what else do we have if we look at our table here and double click just to view it what else do we have we have gender date of birth mobile number and so on so let's close the table now we have gen uh, we have gender so i'm going to enter comma and across the feed here, we now want to enter date of birth. So the date of birth, I'm going to make that 1905. And yeah, that's that's okay. All right, that is the date of birth. Now we need the mobile number. So I'm just going to make that up. There we go. That's the mobile number. Right okay that's the mobile number that should only be 11 characters so the next thing is we now need the email address so i'm going to say tony at gmail.com there close the bracket and that's all there is to it so we enter a semicolon here there so let's see if we is if everything is in order then we just run it and see I'm going to go back to design to run it click on design and as you can see there's nothing inside this table so I'm going to close the table so let's run it and see how that's going to look like run yes that's right okay let's go in in here there we go look at my data in there see that guys we can even add more data you can just refresh this one let's say the name is Sally and Sally is female and 
date of birth let's make that 90 and make that one okay let's change the postcode of Sally change this as well there and what else do we need to change let's change Sally's mobile number and the email is going to be Sally here we go what about the employee details let's change that to there and the address of Sally 15 goes down there we go there we go and that is all for Sally all we then need to do is run the program so come in here like that. just go to design click on run yes and let's go to our employees not there so let's close that and reopen it now reopen it now and that is Sally's details and that is how you insert using SQL so my friend I believe I've answered your question you have a nice day and if you have any, any more suggestion for me please let me know and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now